Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. I'm talking about a couple more items in my Dungeons & Dragons collection, but I don't really know what these things are called. Um, these are my D&D medieval shoulder neck thingies. Uh, no idea what these are officially called. Uh, I've tried looking them up. They're not um, tabards. They're not tunics. Um, they're not even coifs. Now, a coif is something that covers the head and protects the shoulders, and I guess that's the closest that these things can be described as. But uh, one of them is pure fiction, and the other one, I think, is maybe from fencing, I think. Uh, well, let's start with this one first. This is my uh, leather medieval shoulder neck thingy. Um, and I actually got this from the same guys who made the leather scabbard for my sword. Uh, Raven Armories. When I was living in Britain in uh, in the 80s, I got those guys to make me a leather sword, a leather scabbard for my sword. And I said, well, you guys work with leather and you're you're clearly into the whole fantasy realm thing. Uh, I've kind of got a need to sort of dress up or make my chainmail outfit look a little more interesting. So I was thinking, can you guys make me something that uh, would work? And they were like, yeah, sure. What did you have in mind? Did you want to buy a coif? I'm like, no, 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 that's too expensive. Um, and then I saw this picture from the Dragonlance uh, calendar of, I think, 1988, I want to say it is. And in particular, one of the characters is uh, wearing this shoulder neck thingy uh, with, and it's embossed with gold pieces and stuff like that. So I, I kind of photocopied, uh, the day before email ever existed, um, I photocopied a picture of that and mailed it to the guy over at Raven Armories and I said, that thing, can, can you make me that thing? So he's like, well, that wouldn't really be practical. And I was like, no, 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 it's okay. It's just to, some, just to make my outfit look a little more uh, interesting. And so, yeah, uh, he made this, and it's uh, basically just a big piece of leather that's had a hole cut out, and it's been bent. Uh, I guess he must have heated up the edges or something. And uh, he even got a little belt thing that goes around my chest that these little uh, buttons snap into, and it's even got a little loop there so that it'll hold in place. Uh, I will be putting it on in a minute, so you'll see what it'll look like on me. Um, didn't quite turn out the way it looked in the Dragonlance calendar, but I just thought, hey, it was, I don't even remember how much I paid for it. Um, but it's been with me throughout the years, since the 80s, and, uh, I don't know, I just, I thought I would talk about it. Now, I didn't really know what this thing would ever be called or referred to as until I saw the second one. And this is a recent purchase. This one I got at Vancouver Fan Expo. Um, there's a company or various groups actually that sell medieval bits and pieces. I mean, not just swords and daggers and that, but you know, gauntlets and helmets and all kinds of stuff. A lot of it very expensive and much as I love my medieval helmets and gauntlets and all that kind of, you know, chain mail goodness, I'd very much like to get some of their things, but uh, can't really rationalize the purchase, not at this stage of the game. But this white um, medieval neck shoulder thingy, um, I actually found it had a use in, of all places, where I work, which I will get to in a minute. But yeah, this is, um, this is a thick, uh, stitched, padded piece of something. And you know, you just put it over your uh, over your neck, and it protects your shoulders. I'm guessing this is for uh, maybe sparring, or I have a feeling maybe for fencing. You would put this on just you know to any kind of light touches. I'm certainly not going to stop a sword or anything like that, but um, you know maybe uh, it'll keep any wooden swords from giving you uh, any kind of bruising. I suppose. Now, why did I get it? Um, well, where I work, uh, they've got a, a very, very enthusiastic air conditioning system, shall we say. And I'm actually sitting not too far from the vent. And it's winter right now, and for some reason, it's uh, been decided, oh, in wintertime, we really got to crank the air conditioning. So I'm actually quite chilly where I'm sitting. And luckily, with this thing strapped over my shoulders, I'm actually, I've got a nice bit of shielding against the uh, the cold draft. So that's really why I got it. And when I got it home, I thought, hey, you know what? 
this thing is another one of these medieval neck shoulder thingies. What the heck is it called? I don't know. If anybody knows, please leave a comment down below because it's driving me crazy. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's them. Um, what else can I tell you before I put them on? Uh, well, this one, you can sort of turn the collar down so it will look, you know, like a, like a shirt in a way. It's got these little straps here, which I don't really know what they do. Uh, this obviously, uh, this belt loop will, um, you can open it up to make it, you know, fit your neck a little bit better. And there's another one of these belt loops. I don't know what those are for. It's not like they string into anything. I don't really have a clue. I just think it looks really cool. And I'm going to try it on for um, a little experiment right at the end of the video here to see if it'll, if it'll look okay for something I have in mind. Anyway, yeah, that's them. Now I guess I better put them on so you can see what they look like. All right, so I found the belt thing that essentially goes around the chest and then those uh, on the brown leather piece, they just snap into place here. Uh, I have a feeling I don't fit that many notches anymore. It was the 80s was the last time I wore this thing. So I'm going to loop this through the um, back here. There we go. And put that over my head. Now, if I can even find the darn thing. A little bit tricky to do this alone. Oh wait, here we go. Okay. Now, can I get that in? Oh, oh! I can do two notches! Alright, well, it's been a few years, but uh, not, not too bad if I can do two notches. Let's rotate this around so we can find those little buttons. where the buttons go? Oh, the wrong direction. Hang on. Rotate around. There's the two buttons. Line them up, snap them in place. There's one. All right, and there we go. There are. There's the uh, the brown leather neck shoulder medieval thing, whatever the heck it's called. Yeah, and it's got you know a little bit of. Uh, I can I could do like swinging a sword or holding up a shield or whatever type of thing. So that was the logic of that thing. Um, it probably looks ludicrous without a medieval getup with it, but to be honest, it looks ludicrous no matter what. So anyway, that's the brown one. Now the white one, I'm going to try it on, show you what it's like, and then I'm going to show you a little maybe idea I've got for the white one. And here's the white one. Now this one's dead easy. It just pulls over the head like that and you can sort of Turn the collar down, and uh, yeah, it's um, it's very, very. Uh, I don't know. People have looked at me kind of odd at work when I'm like, "What are you wearing? What is that thing?" It's like, "Hey, man, it looks like a regular piece of clothing." Sure, that's a part of a tracksuit. That's totally what it is. Although I think the the medieval snaps and leather tabs on it probably probably don't make that work right. Anyway, that's the uh, the white medieval neck shoulder thingy. Um, yeah, it's actually very nice, very light, and this is a very thick padding, this material, whatever the heck this thing is for. Now, let me do the last thing that I think this would work very well for. It was one of the reasons I made, I, one of the reasons I got it. Let's see if it actually looks okay. That's right, it's Assassin's Creed hoodie time. Now, I have a feeling this thing combined with the uh, Assassin's Creed 3 hoodie might make for a pretty decent Altair look, maybe. Let's let's at least try it out. I don't think the white matches though. This is a, a more of a seagull, well, a very, very slight blue color to this white, whereas this thing has an ivory white kind of a thing to it. So the, the colors may not match, but you know what? Let's let's try it out. It's going to be a bit dicey with the hood. Oh, you know what? That's not too bad, actually. I don't know. Maybe put the, maybe put the laces away. You know, tuck them in there or something. I don't know. I'll figure out what to do with the, the drawstring. But... 
What do you think? Is that um, Altair-ish? Is that does that look okay? Does that work? I mean, it's uh, it, it 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 gives that pseudo monk look that Altair had in the beginning of the first game. This, the opening cinematic, where he's like hiding among the the monks. I think this this kind of has an Altair kind of thing to it, doesn't it? Maybe, kind of, sort of. What do you think? Well, we'll see. Anyway, I was very, very pleased to get this. Like I said, this actually serves a purpose for me. It keeps me warm in the office. And yeah, it was just a cool thing that I saw in uh, Fan Expo that I thought, hey, I may not buy your gauntlets. I may not buy your suits of armor. I may not buy all the other things that look really, really awesome at your table, but the medieval shoulder neck thingy, yeah, I'll totally take that. So I'm very happy with my purchase and it's uh, been worthwhile. But uh, I don't really know what it's called. Or that leather one, either. Somebody please tell me what that thing is called. All right. Until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.